How would you like to find a lost treasure? The amazing thing is that some of the world's most priceless treasures and artifacts have been lost in war, buried, and then forgotten, or even misplaced without any explanation at all. Today you're going to learn about seven lost treasures that no one can seem to find. Perhaps someone like you could get lucky one day. Some of them have eluded not only the most powerful elite families in the world, but they have also eluded major government authorities and organizations like the National Archives. By the end of this video you will have learned about seven lost treasures that no one can seem to find, not even the most powerful entities in the world. Stay tuned, this is Mind Guild. Number 1. The Wright Brothers Patent The National Archives collect and store some of history's most valuable and rarest documents. As one could imagine, security is very tight in the most important historical storehouses in the world, but this doesn't stop thieves from ripping off some of the most priceless pieces. The patent papers that describe in detail Wilbur and Orville Wright's concept for their famous flying machine were stolen by an unknown crook without anyone even noticing. And it wasn't until 2003 that anyone even discovered that the papers were missing. Needless to say, the culprit has not yet been caught. An armed task force has been assigned to hunt them down. Number 2. The Lost City of Paititi Many legends are told about the Lost City of Paititi. It is rumored that this is where the ancient Incas stored all their gold to hide it from the marauding Europeans. Due to its location and relative obscurity, the city gradually became synonymous with the legendary city known as El Dorado. The two cities eventually became a single mythological location where one lucky explorer could find infinite riches. Explorers have been searching the jungles of Peru totally mesmerized by the potential for this lost treasure. There are many settlements in the region that are very remote where explorers have found clues that they believe will lead them to the lost city. Whether Paititi is simply another version of El Dorado or a real city in its own right still remains to be seen. Number 3 the Patiala Necklace. The Patiala Necklace was most certainly an item of rare beauty designed by the House of Cartier in 1928. This gift to the Maharaja Sir Bipinder Singh had five rows of platinum chains adorned with 2930 diamonds. It was encrusted with Burmese rubies in addition to many other jewels. The centerpiece was the seventh largest diamond in the world, the, bay, the famed De Beers diamond, which was a 234.6 carat yellow diamond about the size of a golf ball. The necklace disappeared in 1948. The last known person to be wearing it was the son, Maharaja Yadavendra Singh. The necklace itself was recovered by a Cartier representative in London over 50 years later but its most impressive jewels were gone from the necklace. Cartier restored the necklace as best as they could using Kerbic zirconium and other less, less expensive gems. The original necklace is believed to have been dismantled and sold by the Maharaja's family members and would easily be worth about 20 to 30 million dollars today. Number 4 Victoria's Parliamentary Mace The Parliamentary Mace was a symbol for the office of the Speaker and the constitutional rights of the people of Victoria. On October 9, 1891, it just disappeared. Parliamentary engineer Thomas Jeffrey was seen hurrying from the building that afternoon with the package matching the description of the artifact. Police also found tools at his house that matched the markings on the display case were, which had been forced open during the robbery. And for some reason, Thomas was able to avoid being convicted of the crime altogether. Some claim that the mace was taken by members of the house and placed in a brothel as a practical joke. A committee found no real evidence of this, but was able to state without a doubt that the mace was never placed in a brothel at any time. Though the mace has very 
little intrinsic value, the reward for its turn presently stands at $50,000. Number 5. The Crown Jewels of King John The Crown Jewels of England are considered by many to be the most ostentatious and impressive set of precious jewels in existence. Used in coronation ceremonies, the jewels are always kept under heavy security in the Tower of London. But the crown jewels have been replaced, stolen, and destroyed on many occasions. One such mishap involved King John, who in 1216 tried to cross the Wash, which is a bay in Lincolnshire. He miscalculated the incoming tide and lost his luggage, which was washed out to sea. In his luggage were none other than the crown jewels. He later contracted dysentery and died a few days later. The area is exceptionally dangerous due to the fast incoming tides and muddy waters, but treasure hunters still flock annually to the wash, hoping to find the treasure of a lifetime. Number 6. Dutch Schultz's Stash New York mobster Arthur the Dutch Flegenheimer stole his nickname along with pretty much everything else that wasn't nailed down. He also amassed an empire valued at $20 million a year. As he was always hounded for tax evasion, Dutch did what Al Capone never thought to do. He packed his fortune into a big metal box and buried it in the Caskills. Planning to retrieve his hidden fortune after things cooled down, and well aware that when mobsters went to prison they usually lost their empires while locked up, Dutch kept the location of his fortune a secret from everyone. Later, he was gunned down like all mobsters are eventually. To this day, Dutch's huge fortune is still hidden in the Catskills and has never been recovered. Number 7. The Lost Dutchman In the 1870s, a German immigrant named Jacob the Dutchman Waltz was said to have rediscovered a gold mine located in the Superstition Mountains in central Arizona. The mine had been originally found in the 1840s by a family that was eventually slaughtered by Apaches. It is believed that he stored gold all throughout the Superstition Mountains. His partner was soon killed by the Apaches, and with his health failing, the Dutchman is said to have revealed the mine's location to Julia Thomas, a Phoenix area neighbor who took care of him in 1891. She was unable to locate the gold mine with the information he provided, and though many have tried, no one has been able to find the mine or the missing gold since that time. Most accounts place the gold mine in the vicinity of Weaver's Needle, a large and well-known formation outside of Phoenix. Groups frequently visit the area, but the National Park Service warns that the terrain is very treacherous for the unprepared. If you have learned something new from my video, then subscribe to my channel right now. And which of these seven lost treasures did you find most interesting and compelling? Let me know by leaving a comment below.